Are you looking to add a little aloha flair to your dinner tonight? Have we got the recipe for you. Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and we are all about pantry preparedness. This month we have a great collaboration going on called Make It March, where we are bringing you recipes using our home canned items. The biggest question we get is, I've canned it, now what do I do with it? We're here to help you, hopefully inspire you, with some great recipes for using all the different things in your home canned pantry. Today we're doing Hawaiian pork. It is so simple, so good, super fast dinner. Let's get going. There will be a link to a recipe down below that you can print off, so I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time going through all the measurements, but I'm using good old-fashioned minute rice. Yes, I am. And this recipe you can convert and you can move up, down, depending on how many people you have in your house, okay? Now, the difference with this is that instead of cooking the rice in water, I'm cooking the rice in pineapple juice. Yes! Because that is going to be so, so good. So we're going to let that come up to a boil and then we will move it off the heat, cover it up, and let it do its magic. Next, while that's heating up, we have a pint of home canned pork here. We're going to crack that open. Good stuff. I am not going to drain the liquid. I'm going to put that right into the pan. There we go. We're going to empty that right into the pan. All of that is the natural juice from the pork itself. This was raw packed because you know I'm all about the ugly meat, right? So we're going to get all of that out. You can hear Toby coming because he heard a jar open. It took him like no time to figure out what that means. So because it's pork, it does have some fat in there. No harm, no foul. It's not as much as you would think. So we are going to heat this up, melt down that fat, okay? But we're also going to add a cup of pineapple juice to this so that it marries in together with all of that great flavor, because it's not just in the rice, it's also in the pork. There we go. And this will create an amazing sauce that we're gonna cook down a little bit. So as that heats up, we will keep adding. Next, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of brown sugar. Okay, just gonna add that flavor profile in there. And we're going to add some soy sauce. Now, I get the reduced sodium soy sauce. Yes, I do, because it's good. And I don't need all that extra sodium. So we're going to add about a teaspoon in there. And then we're going to add some rice wine vinegar. And again, that's going to be about a tablespoon. And you can normally find that at, you know, Walmart, wherever you want. And then, of all the weird things we are going to add some ketchup. Now, whatever ketchup you have is good. I'm adding G. Hughes, it's a sugar-free, which is kind of, <laughs> kind of ridiculous when you think of the pineapple juice. But anyway, so we're adding all of that in there. Okay, gonna give it a nice little mix. Now some fresh ground ginger or some powdered ginger that you've dehydrated yourself, which is what this is, and or store-bought, you know, powdered ginger. So just add a little bit in there. Again, the measurements will be in the description. Okay, I have to turn off the rice and move it off the heat. Let it do its thing. There we go. Now we're gonna also add in a little bit of paprika. And again, we're gonna keep stirring. And then because nothing can go without garlic, right? We're going to add in a little bit of garlic too. So I'm going to add, I have minced garlic here. I'm going to add about a teaspoon, a nice healthy teaspoon of garlic. And now we're just going to let this heat up, cook down, marry all those flavors together. Toby says hi. And as that cooks down, we'll be back. Literally, I'm just going to cook down this sauce a bit. So bring it up to a nice boil and... Keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn, right? But you're just heating that up. This dinner goes together so fast. But you do want to cook down that liquid. While that's cooking down, I have added some cornstarch to just a tiny bit of water. Okay, and we're just going to whisk that up. 
so that we can add it to the sauce. Okay. So that's cooked down a bit, and now we're going to thicken it. Okay. We'll add that in there. This will just thicken it up really nice. Look at that, poof, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn off that heat. This smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna move it off the heat. We let the rice do its thing, look at that. It soaked up the pineapple juice, that's gonna be, oh yes, okay, smells so good. Excuse me while I get my nose out of the rice. So with a slotted spoon, we're just going to add that rice to the bowl. Okay. Technically, this is enough for like two people, but this will be Phil's dinner. That was a cup of rice, so when you're done making it, you've got two cups. Okay, and now we are going to, now we're going to spoon over that delicious pork. If you want to, you can add an, even add some pineapple to the pork while it's cooking. Okay, so now we're doing the fill taste test. What's the verdict? Very good. Very good? Mm -hmm. Okay. You like the rice with the pineapple juice mm -hmm. and Toby running through the house? Mm -hmm. Good stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, not going to say anything else. You're just going to eat the whole bowl? Very good. Okay, good. Dinner in 10 minutes, tops, 10 minutes. Absolutely delicious. It is so good. The pineapple juice in the rice, oh, yeah, it's not too much. It takes away that super sweet, you know. But if you want to know how to can your own pork, check out this video. Until next time, everybody, be safe.